Pokemaniacs, we have huge, huge news coming out today. November 1st, Prismatic Evolutions, which is the set that we just covered recently, Terrastal Festival, the Japanese set, has officially been revealed. Not all of the cards, but we have we have some cards. We have lots of stuff. First off, we're going to start off with the pack art So uh, and some crazy news. So this set also is going to have Master Ball Reverse Hollows, like we just saw in the Japanese 151. It's finally making its way over to the English. And this is the first set. So here's one pack art. We got more evolutions here, right? The original, the OG. We got the Gen 2, and then we got Leafeon, Glaceon. Uh, yeah, so this is going to be a pretty big set. Over 175 cards, sick ace, sick, six Welcome ace spec cards. A, um, 10 wait, Pokemon EX, no 15 Terra Pokemon EX, effect. 12 no supporter chance, cards. Illustration rare, we don't know how many. 32 on SIRs, so that's pretty oh, big. Hang on. There's a toy. That's, oh, wow. That's really big. 32 special illustration rares and five golds. So a pretty big set. Um, that's really good news. However, just so you guys know, usually these specialty sets, kind of like 151, the pull rates aren't as difficult. Um, the pull rates are usually easier. They could change that, but just so you guys know, um, pull rates, you know, but we see what 151 can do, obviously. So it doesn't, pull rates don't necessarily matter, but in the case like Twilight Masquerade, with the Greninja pull rates do matter. So, the Pokemon Center ETB, which, uh, so the Japanese set's coming out in December. We get January 17th is our release. Now available for pre-order in the Pokemon Center uh, on the website. So, uh, you know, maybe snatch these up. Um, I did pre-order this morning already. So here's the, uh, the ETB, the box itself. Now, I don't think we've seen the promo card yet, but... Here, obviously, we got the packs. You got the code card, um, standard, right? The player's guide. Player's guide looks kind of cool. Um, sleeves, EV crown sleeves. There. Um, here's the the dividers and the ETB, um, the dice and the the damage counters and stuff. If you care about that, um, the energies. Okay. Then um, we're also they've also announced a few other products. There is a binder collection, uh, similar to. 151 kind of you know you got your binder right uh so pretty cool there and there's a poster collection as well we got some some promos that's pretty cool we got uh mini tins which i really like these mini tins obviously these are going to be i don't know i don't think they're going to be like crazy or anything uh but artwork wise we got all the evolutions on tins so might want to snag up all of these just to have at least one of each artwork i think that's kind of cool then we got this surprise box. Um, I think, well, I think this was just like a few packs and I don't know, a box or something like a deck box. I think uh, I'll, we'll, I'll scroll down. Uh, booster bundles, obviously, just the normal uh, booster bundle, like the 151, not the Crown Zenith, like weird, weird one. Um, then there's uh, this accessory pouch special collection. So you get a, a pouch and some packs. So, um, that's most of what we know, and we have some cards. I'm going to show you guys the cards in a second, but I just wanted to touch on the poster collection, right? The poster and binder we know. Um, there's also going to be a sticker collection. We talked about the mini tens. Okay, so the surprise box, four booster packs, a stylish storage box with four dividers, and one random etched promo. So, uh, promos in there. So, yeah. So, that's all the product. Now, let's talk about the cards that we've seen. Okay, these cards... So these are just like the normal EXs. They're not anything crazy, but we'll take a look at them, right? We got Leafeon. I know that these have been fairly controversial and there's one coming up that uh, I know I got some comments about, but I'm just, when I'm looking at this, I'm trying to, I'm trying to imagine the SIRs, right? Like the Pikachu from Surging. Um, I would assume that all the evolutions are going to get SIRs right and i would assume that those are going to look well look good so like these for the normal exes i mean whatever kind of in my opinion it, it doesn't really mean anything to me but i want irs and sirs that's that's what i'm looking at so flareon we got vaporeon here there's a, sometimes these cards look really busy especially with there's a lot going on we got glaceon right here so Every single, all of, all of the evolutions, which is 
surprising. I wasn't sure if they were going to include everyone. Uh, Espeon here. So and they're all pretty much like the same style, right? We got Sylveon. Now this one is the one that uh, is a little controversial, maybe. Uh, I had some people saying that if they did the Umbreon with the rainbow borders, it's going to be horrible. Well, they did it. Um, once again, this doesn't mean that the IRs or the SIRs are necessarily going to be rainbow borders because not every card from Surging Sparks is rainbow borders, but I mean, it could be, I suppose. We don't know yet, but... All right, and then we got Eevee. Uh, I think we've seen this card before. So um, we got a few other cards. Let's touch on. We got a supporter. Okay, here's one of the Ace Spec uh, Max Rods. And then we got some other, um, like the basic cards, right? We got the Leafy. Flareon, it's a cool card. I do like that. Vaporeon's looking, checking out the bubbles. That's pretty adorable. Glaceon's chilling in the snowy forest. Jolteon's looking good. Espeon, Sylveon, and Umbreon. Oh, I like this. I like this vibe. So if they lean more into this for the IR, SIR, mm, that's what I'm all about. So this is... It says all eight evolutions will have alternate art reprints in this set. Alternate art reprints? I don't know exactly what that means. Um, all eight evolutions will have alternate art reprints in this set? It's that, that's what these are. I'm assuming. Because it has like a colon, like here they are. So, um, I was thinking crazy thoughts for a second. So, uh, Prismatic Evolutions, it is upon us. Now, let's talk about pre-ordering. Okay, so usually, usually, I wait. I want to at least see some more cards before I pre-order. Now, for this, I just blindly pre-ordered this morning as soon as I saw that it was up. Um, now, for me, like, I, I don't, I, these days I don't really skip sets if I can help it. So, uh, even if I go a little lighter, I mean, I might wait, maybe we get some more cards, and I might try and get some more, but something that you guys have to consider, it's just, once again, it's not me trying to FOMO, but look what's happening with Surging Sparks right now, and this is an EV set that potentially has huge potential, right? So, if you're thinking about it, um, maybe you just go for a pre-order, okay? The, uh... The Pokemon company doesn't charge your card. I'm not also don't go into debt for this, right? But they don't charge your card. Uh, it won't be until January for your pre-orders. They don't charge until they ship. So, um, you know, think about that, right? Um, so pre-ordering this set is kind of what I'm doing. Uh, I'll get like a, a decent amount pre-ordered, and then I'll wait. Once we get more, if I think it looks really good, then I'll try and get more. But for me, the thing like I'm most excited even though we haven't seen anything from it and waiting for the team rocket set so that you know i'm trying to save some money for that set so i don't want to you know i'd rather i don't know i just have high hopes for the team rocket set so i don't want to go too hard into prismatic evolutions and then lose out on team rocket but that is going to do it for this one guys um this is some pretty big news i didn't expect to get this today uh, and the pre-orders be up already so that's kind of wild but the pokemon company is just pushing this stuff out so um let me know what your guys' thoughts are on the set on the cards that we've seen once again these are just the regular exes so i don't judge it too hard off of what we've seen so let me know what you guys think though okay uh, leave a comment let me know also if you're this far in the video and you're not already subscribed obviously enjoy the content i do daily pokemon like market news collecting and investing news uh or videos every single day so hit that subscribe button it would mean a lot to me uh, i'll catch you guys in the next one and remember it was never a phase